Hey there, CJ Math students, and welcome to Homework 8.6 Angles Review, is practice uh, in preparation for your quest tomorrow. So, we will probably do most of the odd problems. So, uh, number one, it says, What is the alternate exterior angle to angle one? So, I highlighted alternate exterior and angle one. I'm going to throw in what I think the definition of alternate exterior is, which is both outside and opposite. Right? That way, I'm not just guessing and thinking all right so I'm going to look at one and what's the other one that's outside and opposite that's angle seven so one and seven so D is my answer number three what is an alternate interior angle to angle three so alternate interior means both inside and opposite so I'm going to look at angle three on the inside I'm going to say okay what's the other angle that's on the inside and what's opposite of it? Angle 5, angle 5, and angle 3. So B. Number 5, what angle is corresponding to angle 3? Uh, corresponding is same side and skip. So look at angle 3, what's on the same side as angle 3? Where is skip an angle? That's angle 7, right? So D. All right. Um, Problem like number seven, all I gotta do is say, okay, the sum of all angles in a triangle add up to 180. So I can say, um, let's do it in the shortcut way. 180 minus 50 minus 65, uh, or if you're more comfortable with 50 plus 65 plus X equals 180. I'm, I'm allowing you to do it either way. Um, but anyway, you should get uh, 115 degrees as your answer, right? Uh, number 23. This is an interesting one because it looks like you could just do 180 minus these two, but notice 68 degrees is outside the triangle, so we have to first figure out this other angle inside the triangle. So that's supplementary, so I can just do 180 minus 68 degrees. When I do that, I get 112. So now I know that this is 112 degrees. So now the triangle has 112 plus 43 plus x is equal to 180, otherwise known as 180 minus 112 minus 43, right? And so my answer then will be uh, 25 degrees, right? You can do it the equation way or this way, it doesn't matter. Uh, for number 26, um, looks like I'm gonna eventually have to do a vertical relationship here, right? So, uh, sorry, number 25 I should be doing, my fault. Um, so let's first figure out this missing angle here. And that's just simply 180 minus 30 minus 20 because um, we know that all the angles in a triangle add up to um, 180 degrees. So that's 130. So that's first with the triangle, right? Um, and then, okay, if this is 130, then we got a vertical relationship, right? Um, so the angle above it also needs to be 130 degrees. So C. Right on the back side, what you're gonna do is I'm gonna switch to the even problems now. You state the relationship. Actually, I'll just do 12 and 13 and then solve for X. Right? So relationship for 12, that's vertical, right? Not alternate interior because they're both not on the inside. One's outside, one's inside, they're vertical, right? So we got eight X minus four equals 60. You could say minus four is really plus a negative four, that's fine, plus four plus 4, so 8x is equal to 64, divide by 8, x is equal to 8, so the good student highlights the two steps of the equation, and notice because it's vertical, that's why we can have it equal to each other. If it was supplementary or complementary, we'd have to set it equal to 180 or 90. Uh, let me do 15. 15 is, uh, they are alternate interior because they are both on the inside and they are opposite. So we're gonna set them equal to each other. 9x plus negative seven is equal to 7x plus 17. So I cannot combine like terms because there's an equal sign here. So I have to go ahead and first say, all right, let's move my variables to one side. So plus negative seven x plus negative seven x. That gives you two x plus negative seven equals 17. Now, it's just a two-step equation. Add seven, that's two x is equal to 24, divide by two, x equals 12. 
very easy, right? Go ahead and highlight again. You got three steps to highlight. And because it's alternate interior, that's why you can say it's equal to each other. Okay. Uh, notice for 16, we have a complementary relationship, C-O-M-P. So I'll say 2x plus 38 equals 90. Why 90? Because it was a complementary relationship. So I'll add negative 38 to both sides. It's just a beautiful two-step equation. Uh, that gives me 2x is equal to 52. And then, oops, I don't need that. I just need to divide by 2. So x is equal to 26. Right? Highlight that was two steps, and then also it's complementary, so that's why it's equal to 90. Right? And uh, last one is uh, problem number 17. So this time we have a supplementary relationship here, right? So sup. And that's 64 plus 6x plus 2 equals 180. Why 180? Because it was a supplementary relationship. I have like terms in 64 and 2. That gives me 66 plus 6x equals 180. Now it's just a two-step equation. I add negative 66. So 6x is equal to 114. And then I divide by 6. So x is equal to 19. So B, and then I highlight, oh, it was supplementary, that's why I said equal to 1A, those are my two steps, right? So big difference between problems 15 through 18 um, and problems uh, 12 through, uh, sorry, 12 through 15, and then 16 through 18. Um, these were complementary, and those were the congruent relationships. Right? Call me if you have questions.